Hello, I'm Dave Miller. It's Think Out Loud. Today in the show, as we end the as we near the end of 2014, we are spending an hour remembering some of the people we lost this year. Just a few of the people who shaped life in the Northwest. They came from the worlds of politics and culture, business and the environment, but each of them confirmed that deep truth from Walt Whitman. They all contained multitudes. We start with Rosling Farrington. She passed away in September at the age of 50. She was an educator and a writer, an actress and an activist. She taught women's studies at Portland State University. She served on the board of directors for the North by Northeast Community Center. And from 2000 to 2005, she was the first African-American director of the Oregon Commission for Women. To remember Rosalind Farrington, we've invited two women who knew her well, Roberta Hunt And Sally Eck. Sally Eck is in the teaching faculty in the Women, Gender, and Sexuality Department at Portland State University. Roberta Hunt is also in the teaching faculty there. She's also in the Department of Black Studies. It's great to have both of you here. Thank you. Thank you. Roberta, can you describe Rosalind Farrington for people who didn't know her? Um... I would say that Roslyn was dynamic. I mean, you know, she she died at 50, and at her memorial, it was amazing to talk about all of the ways that she had impacted life. Like, she lived a very full life. And um, Roslyn was somebody that you could sing karaoke with. She really <laughs> liked Holiday and knew a lot of um, rap songs. She was also... You mean s- Billy Holiday, not the Holidays. No, 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 Madonna. <laughs> um, <laughs> but oh, the, the, song. the Madonna the song. song. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't sure where we were going with that. <laughs> yeah. But she... Um, so she was really playful. Um, she was also... Uh, somebody that worked with a lot of nonprofits um, to help them address conflict, to help them um, kind of live within their mission. She did a lot of work with um, Oregon tradeswomen, uh, Constructing Hope, uh, pre-apprenticeship program, North by Northeast, um, Sisters of the Road, um, uh, in other words. Um, And she taught hundreds of students at Portland State, um, and would also do workshops around town um, and around the state. Sally, what was she like as a teacher? Um, gosh, Rosalind uh, used to talk about, um, are we feminists or are we going to talk about feminism? And so the interesting thing about being in her presence was that she was about embodying and enacting um, the feminist consciousness. So a lot of times what happens in the classroom um, in women, gender, and sexuality studies is that we work really hard to critique and problematize. And Rosalind was very uh, gifted at helping us to engage in praxis, which is the next level. It's not just critiquing and problematizing. It's also about enacting our own politic and thinking about what that means in our own real lived experience. So what did that mean if she was teaching a class? How how might she have approached a class in a way that was different from other people you knew? Well, the what I saw um, and took inspiration from um, and – use that and use it in my own classroom as well is that she um, would uh, have have the students choose their own revolutionary action project and so the students would be learning these new theories and these new ideas um, and then deciding how they wanted to employ them so sometimes that meant that they would have um, their own personal project um, that meant that in their own homes they were going to um, changed the way they talked about certain ideas. Um, and sometimes it meant something bigger, like a whole conference on love um, that was held in the park blocks with um, with free hugs and um, talking booths and listening stations and all kinds of things. That seems really far away from my idea of academia, a conference on love. Absolutely. And if we think about Bell Hooks, Bell Hooks talks about loving praxis and love as a fundamental piece of social change. Um, And social change was like Rosin was all about social change. Um, And she was about uh, self-love. Like one of her things was that she would do workshops with women on um, self-love and self-care. And coming from the perspective that self-love is a radical act in a society that very much tries to take us away from valuing who we are. 
um, and she did a lot of work with women of color and really uh, inviting women of color to think about how how do we heal from this racist, sexist, capitalist, classist country that we live in, and how do we um, transform that pain into purpose into um, creating something better for all of us. Sally, what will you take from from her example personally? Wow. <laughs> uh, well, Rosalind, um, in addition to being a phenomenal colleague um, and inspiration as a teacher, was also one of my very best friends in the world. Um, and, uh, you know, so I take a daily practice of uh, she's the one who taught me how to meditate seven years ago. Um, and that daily practice has changed the way I show up as a teacher, a mama and a friend um, and a community member. Um, the way I show up for myself. So that's, uh, that's huge. Um, as well as the kind of abandon that I feel when I'm um, singing karaoke, which I used to do with her really regularly. Um, and I'm not a gifted singer, <laughs> but I do. Um, that's not a prerequisite for <laughs> it's karaoke. It's not a prerequisite. <laughs> and when we do learn how to. Enthusiasm all you need. Absolutely. And sometimes some alcohol. <laughs> and when we learn how to love ourselves, we, um, we can embrace that. And that's something that, um, that I will never forget from her. And Roberta, what about you? I think the cushion um, and... What, what is the cushion? Oh, meditating. Hmm. Um, oh, sitting on the cushion. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. She was a big one for telling me to get on my cushion. Um, but I think also um, practicing self-love. I mean, I, I, Rosalind would sometimes, like, Rosalind loved herself. And, you know, she uh, would talk about how much she loved herself. And... I felt like every time she did that, she was giving me and other people permission to love ourselves and to move in the world from a place of um, valuing who I am and what I bring. And I, that's something that I am growing into. Roberta Hunt and Sally Eck, thanks so much for coming on to talk about Rosalind Farrington. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Roberta Hunt and Sally Eck are members of the teaching faculty at Portland State University. That is one of the parts of Rosalind Farrington's life.